All right, gang, just going to plow through a couple more here. Now, this next one is after, this is in Luke 12. This is after Luke 11, where he's, you know, explains sort of things like keeping the word and, you know, uh, you know, more than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. And they look for a sign. There's a lamp of the body tip about the eye and make sure that the light that's in you is not darkness. Right, and woe to the Pharisees and lawyers, and then beware of hip hypocrites and hypocrisy. And then Jesus teaches the fear of God and confesses Christ before men. And then he goes into a bigger point about do not worry and the faithful and evil servant. And, uh, I, you know, he's going to bring division because people won't like him and make peace with your adversary and repent or, or perish. Then there's another parable about the uh, barren fig tree that I read. And discern the time when you see a cloud, blah, blah, blah. Hypocrites, you can deserve the discern the face of the sky. You can't even know that I'm around about it in, in his own time. Like, you don't know, like, you see me doing the thing. But he just likes it. Anyway, so it's part of a huge, like, Jesus rant. One of only a very few that you find in the entire Bible. And it's right here in this chunk of Luke, right, with teachings that you don't find many of many where else you get some of the teachings but not like the parable parts so that's where the parable of the rich fool comes in and here we go it's only five verses it's a shorter one but that's your setup if you're gonna do them you might as well like hey you can binge watch them or you can like one at a time here we go then one from the crowd said to jesus teacher tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me but Jesus said to him, man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? And he said to them, take heed and beware of covetousness, covetousness, I think it is. Take heed and beware of covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I know, yeah, yeah, I know what I'll do next. It's funny, so I, I, I'll do this. I'll pull down my barns and build greater, bigger, and there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you will have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, retire, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then whose will those things be which you have provided? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Because he wanted, uh, you know, uh, his brother to divide the inheritance. Of him. Man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? We need the usual. All right, so that was Parable of the Rich Fool. Chapter 12, Luke. Verses uh, 13 through whatever it ends there. 13 through 21. All right. Then he goes right into do not worry. And then there's like faithful and evil servant, which is another parable in the rant coming up shortly. But maybe I won't do it in order. I don't know.